Hey guys, Chad here, back with you on the channel. Busy making the DJI Go 4.10.11 update video. And I've been looking over the Facebook groups and a lot of people are talking about a new feature that's coming to our DJI drones, Mavic and Spark. And this is called Dynamic Home Point. Now, at first glance, people believe that Dynamic Home Point is something that has been going on for a long time, which is that whenever you are, say, in a boat and traveling, the Mavic or Spark will return to home where you are, not where you set the original home point. Inside the Go 4 app, there is these two little icons, which says return to where I took off or return to me. Now, Dynamic Home Point coming in at the new firmware releases probably sometime this week actually is a totally new feature that will update the home point of the location of the drone every 15 meters when in gesture or active track mode so if you're cruising along on a bike or in your car and it's tracking the object it is going to basically pick a new home point every 15 meters that it travels and if you lose connection or you initiate a return to home it be, it is going to land at the last recorded position now this comes straight from the official DJI Spark owners group this is from Ken Booth who is a DJI rep if you're not part of these groups I reckon I definitely recommend that you join them for Mavic, Spark, whatever, they are always on top of it because the community is always on top of things and what's going on. Just don't say anything about, bad about DJI or you'll get kicked out of here. So it's caused quite a stir. There's another post down here. Here we go. Um, with uh, This at one point had 69 comments, and it looks like the mods have been through and have cleaned a lot of them out. Um, but all of your big people have been responding to it, and you can see a lot of them actually are wrong when they're speaking about Dynamic Home Point has been around for ages. Um, not this type of Dynamic Home Point. This is different than return to RC. You can see the aircraft's current position. So it's just something to really keep in mind. Uh, there's a lot of good features coming up in all this stuff, and it looks like we're all about to get some firmware updates, quick shot modes in the Mavic, as well as dynamic the home point. Uh, Spark is getting some more uh, stuff added to it. Transmission, frequency, and channel lock manually. I've been testing all this stuff out tonight, and I have to say that I'm actually pretty impressed. I finally feel that I can possibly use my Spark without an OTG cable, um, which I really don't care, but it's pretty nice. Also, the three-second countdown. Hopefully, all of that kind of stuff carries over into these quick shot modes that are going to be in the Mavic. I guess we will have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to working on that video. And we'll see you later on uh, this week for that and for the firmware.